What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Living Life Fast. Today we've got Louis, the owner of this BMW M240i. It's got a JB4 tune with a DCAT, similar to Lewis's M140 we filmed a few weeks back. I thought it'd be interesting, as there are a lot of debates whether the M240i handles better than the M140. Obviously, um, you know, we're not on a racing track, so I don't think we're going to be able to find in that detail what it's like, but I thought it'd still be interesting to see if I can feel any differences. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a second. actual spec on this car has it got i think you mentioned it's got adaptive suspension and stuff like that uh, yeah it's got adaptive suspension uh, the harman kardon park sensors front and back it's got the red livery too like, as well yeah it's the main ones really uh, it's 340 bhp in stock form uh supposedly when i got it got rolled with just the decat and it rolled uh 365 wow now it's JB4, it's rolling about 3, 420. So what is it you've actually had done to it? So you've had the JB4 tune, so did you see the M140i video I put up? Yeah, I watched that, yeah, it's got the, the same JB4, um, the maps, it's got the decat and the resonator delete at the back. Okay. Which makes it a bit louder. How long have you owned it? Uh, since January last year. January last year, yeah. Okay, and uh, what did you own before this? Anything fast? Or? Uh, E46 M3. Oh, wicked. Oh, so what is it like going from the E46? No turbos, obviously. Different power delivery, the E46 was you can have more fun with it. Yeah. But this is better all round, more usable. This does carry a premium, doesn't it, over the M140 as well, right? Yeah, I think there's a little bit in it. I don't think there's a lot. A couple of grand, two, yeah. three grand, I think. And uh, this is the B58, right? That's it, yeah. yeah. Straight away I can feel, because it's got the adaptive, it's really, um, you can barely feel, like the wheel feels a little lighter, yeah. a little bit more like feathery uh, to the M140. One of the um, biggest things that um, I hear uh, with the M240 vs M140 is um, the looks are subjective, but personally I think that this car looks a lot nicer than the M140. But apparently these are a little more smooth, like when the back starts to step out of these. Yeah. Apparently they're smoother than the M140, but this hasn't got LSD, right? No, it hasn't, no. No LSD, yeah. What set is this now? Uh, you're in comfort at the moment in manual. Does this guy do? Like, Louis, 
what about maintenance? Um, have you had to spend money on this car yet? No, nothing yet. It's only had a set of uh, rear tyres, but nothing unexpected. Yeah. So you had it for how long? Three years, did you say? Yeah, it's every year now. You not had to spend a penny apart no. from tyres, yeah? Nothing. It's going to get an oil change soon, but no issues. And um, what did you notice a difference with the tyres? I want to swap them over from the other ones. Yeah, for the MP. Uh, yeah, these grip a lot better in the wet. In the wet, yeah? Yeah. So that's what it is right now, isn't it? It's these tyres, man. Wow, they really are amazing in the wet, aren't they, man? I'm sure if you aggravate it, it'll probably still kick, wouldn't it, but... Yeah, push it up, it's still going, but... We're just it. A little bit. You definitely can't be flat on the front. No, yeah, it's good to sleep. You've got to be cautious, but... It's just a bit of modulation with the front, would be good, man. That bit there, you could fly over that, it'd be yeah. fine. I mean, after getting out of the, um, the M3 I drove the other day, you could feel there's just a tiny bit more body roll. I mean, it's yeah. almost not existent, but when you compare it to an M3, you can feel it. Like I already said, the wheel feels a bit lighter, but at speed, it's not, it doesn't feel too playful. It does like kind of stiffen up. It feels nice, like the weighting's nice. I mean, yeah, it's just an easy car to drive every day, isn't it? And then when you want to go have a laugh and go have some fun, it literally will put a smile on your face. Second gear, man, I'm flat. Wow. It's your tyres, isn't it? But then it could be just the car in general. Yeah, it could be tyres. I mean, you can feel it. It does start to get a bit light. Yeah. So how's ownership been? Like, have you enjoyed owning it so far? Yeah, it doesn't really get used much. It's a weekend car now. Weekend, yeah? You've yeah. Got you got a daily driver or? I'm in a van every day. Okay. So this during the weekends. Cool. But yeah, no problems with it so far. Yeah. Fuel consumption compared to the E46? Uh, well, it's, yeah, it's pretty better because this you can drive, you can put in eco mode, you can put in comfort mode. Would you say it's worse than the E46? No, I'd say it's better. Better, yeah? yeah. Okay. What does it actually do, like, what, 40 miles per gallon? Must be easy. Yeah, if you're on a motorway, you get 35, 40 for driving it really, really slowly. And uh, how much have you spent then? Um, uh, so it must be because the JB4 is about 500, mm. like a decap, about two, probably about. £1,200. Yeah. Oh, you got springs. the IMAX springs yeah. as well, yeah? And uh, what about spaces? No, 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 no thing's going on, probably. Okay. Interesting, though. It's like super comfortable, man. And what, what did, what, do you know the price? What's, what's the price on this car? So it's brand new, this is. Yeah, it's brand new. I got it. I think it was 38 was the list price, but obviously it's locked down a bit before buying it. Yeah, I think more than anything, uh, what I'm taking away from this car is the tyres, yeah. Definitely get a, a good set of tyres, man. I like it in the sport mode because times like then it would drop down. Oh, it's in and they're talking. Yeah, like now it's holding it in third. Yeah, you're right. So that's just... okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that is one heavenly sound. You know that. This adaptive is so good, man. You can fly over everything. Can't you? smoother you know that yeah a lot smoother yeah without fail it's more like the m3 man because it's got that because it's a good wow look at that man <laughs> let's see how it a little bit of throttle look at that man yeah tires yeah so underestimated aren't they yeah i think well, i don't think i make a difference but i don't think they're improving that much but they have So it's clear to see I enjoy driving the M240i. Uh, some of you might be thinking, Ricky, why do you keep going on about the rear end grip and the smoothness of the power? And the reason I kept highlighting this is because this car did run a JB4 tune, uh, which brings the power up by 80 bhp. And any of you that are familiar with tuned BMWs, you'll be aware that you know they become a little sketchy, a little tail happy after tuning. Uh, the M34s and fires are well known for it, but this M240i still felt very controllable, still felt very smooth. Uh, even when comparing it to the M140i, uh, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. Uh, it ran the same modifications as this M240i, but it just felt that little more 
um, unpredictable. It just felt um, a little more tail happy, a bit more snappy on the throttle. Um, obviously, there was a lot of factors. Um, you know, for starters, the M240i ran Michelin PS4 tires, which uh, performed brilliantly in the wet. I'm not sure how the JB4 maps work, but I'm sure there's going to be like a low, medium, and a more aggressive tune, which is something that could easily um, more than likely upset the balance of the car. I mean after driving both of them with the same modifications I would definitely say the M240i is a lot more smoother but don't take this video as gospel like I said there's many factors and uh, the best thing to do is go drive both cars back to back so I'll put you back in the video now. <laughs> Anyway guys, going to end the video there. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel and everyone just wants to pull out. <laughs> See you soon guys. Bye.